The idea of having some device that can recognize what you're interacting with in the real world and then bringing information from wherever it may be on the internet to you, I think that's a tremendously exciting idea. I've been working at Imperial since 91. I was looking at models of the way neurons behave in the brain. Jeffrey came in bringing his computer vision expertise and his understanding of how to translate some of these models into really fast algorithms. The problem is that if you were to build a generic vision system, you actually end up repeating a lot of the calculations over and over again in slightly different ways. The brain takes a lot of shortcuts that are actually very elegant in terms of what a computer vision system might want to be. One day we were doing a demonstration of some neural simulations in front of a live camera and we taught a system to recognize pictures of faces. And we thought to ourselves, well, actually, in theory, if this system can recognize a picture of a face, maybe if we were to sketch a face out, it should theoretically also be able to recognize a line drawing as being of a face. And we tried it, and sure enough, the detector fired. The way that we've actually gone about simulating all these neurons in real time so we can have a very responsive system is to use graphics processing units, the same kind as you would have in your Xbox 360. And these are now just making it to the mobile phone. And Microsoft is one of the first to actually put real GPUs in their phones. You'd be able to just turn on your app, move them around the scene, and we'd be able to run our image recognition software on the phone and it will be able to pick up all the objects. Every object is its own tag, so you don't need to put a QR code on it. Take a picture of any object, and we can automatically recognize it and point you to somewhere on the net that will give you more options. If a human is able to recognize a product, our algorithm eventually should be able to recognize it.